the uh, attempted uh, basket. Well, the Golden Eagles trying to draw something. There's Jaron Pierre, JP with the first basket. Is He got a tooth in the eye, and Jay Ladner described it as something from a Rocky movie uh, where, he, where he said, cut me, Mickey, cut me. So, points in the last three minutes and 30 seconds as the Miners have scored nine as Jerron Pierre finds in previous seasons look forward to full arenas in future years so they can really lay Alabama they've got it out front the flowers and a steal by Pierre Pierre's got it Takes it, fires down the floor, and a dunk inside by Stevenson. Under five minutes now in regulation. Pierre, three from the top of the key, knocks it down. Archibald has been better as of late. Got off to a little bit of a slow start this year. His last five games, averaging 15 a game. Three good. Back to Johnson. Johnson with nine on the shot clock. Back right wing, Pierre. He's going to drive feet inside. To Stevenson got a layup. Great assist. Uh, Golden Eagles, Mormon got the rebound, hits it to Pierre, Pierre in the front court, Pierre going to drive, feed inside, and Plinkney got a layup off the Pierre. And I know that's one thing, again, they want to be able to get to that free throw line. It's a pretty good free throw shooting team. Nice job by Pierre getting it inside. The Slow that clock down. Up by 21. Pierre got a hand on that. Here comes Pierre. He'll dribble it into the front corner. Seven seconds. Pierre going to take it himself. Down the lane. Hands it off to Kanachik for an easy layup. And that no man's land. Couldn't get a good shot up. The Eagles have the rebound. They go the other way. Drain to Hardy. Right wing Pierre shoots a three. Bingo. Collision, but no call. Out front. Lala's got it. And they can't get a shot off. Eagles get a steal. Throw it ahead to Pierre. And a slam it in. Yeah, this is more like the ball games that we expected. A lot of talk this week about Southern Miss getting beat by Middle Tennessee three times last year. Uh, and Oreo picked up the loose ball for South Alabama. Leaves it out front now with Locur. Locur going to drive to the bucket on Pierre. Pierre blocked his shot from. Thought about a shot, didn't take it. Thought about it again, doesn't take it. He gives it to Hardy. Hardy back to Pierre. He'll shoot a three left side, and bingo. And again, driving to the basket there by UTEP, this time stolen by Drain. Drain did an excellent job, and JP's going to pull it up. JP hits the three. A three ball that doesn't go by Christian Agnew. And here come the Golden Eagles trying to move fast in transition. And it's drawn. Pierre goes up. And here, let's see what the Golden Eagles do against it. Uh, they've had a struggle against the, the, the matchup zone this year. <laughs> His game is maturing. Still with four fouls, he's got to be very careful. As Pierre, another shot this time from the left corner, and he connects. He throws it into the right corner. They get it back out front to Flowers and a bad pass. Loose ball picked up by Pierre. Pierre's got a the Eagles. Drives to the bucket, reverse left. Now the Golden Eagles. Pierre front court. He's got it left point. Fakes right, drives left, down along the baseline, and got a layup. And misses. Southern Miss gets the gets the rebound back and a fresh 20 on the play clock, shot clock, and there's Jerome Pierre taking it. Leaves the game with just five points so far. Has only played eight minutes. Pierre gets inside. The block, Pierre... Third block already on the day for Southern Miss. Uh, that's just good team defense. Pitney recognized that his defender was his teammate was B, but there comes the three point line as well as under the basket. Poti doing a nice job of doing that, and they're attacking the basket. There you go. Biggest lead of the game was 20. Yeah, they're better shots. You don't want to see your big man in the corner right there with that much time still on the clock. So Tulane, no field goals in the last three minutes. And here, right wing Johnson, pretty good defense early on by South Alabama. Eagles to drain. Drain back left corner. Pierre with a three. It's good. Bingo. Over to the right side up high to Pierre. Back to drain. Now drain in the lane to Knutchik. He's doubled up. Feeds it into the right corner. Back out Pierre. Another three. To get back in this ball game, but they need to score, and they need to score fast. The more I think about it, McGee reminds me of kind of like 
A pocket. Drain three. another three off the back of the rim, no good. And Drain hustles to get the rebound. Tips it to Pierre. He drives inside and banks it in. That's Drain. Side up high now to Drain. Drain back to Johnson. He thinks a three and he's going to take it. No good. Long rebound to Pierre. He shoots a three. To Drain to Knutchik. Down to Stevenson along the right baseline. Stevenson's pass knocked loose but picked up by Drain. Left corner Pierre for a three. Knutchik fakes, dribbles fakes and dribbles, drives inside in traffic to Pierre. A three ball right side, bingo! As they comes to Pierre, now to Hardy. Hardy gonna drive down inside, spin, lean, lost it, but it's picked up out front by Pierre. A line drive, three is good! Pierre, eight on the shot clock. Pierre faking and dribbling, and faking and dribbling, gonna drive the lane inside, put it up with a spin move, and he got it to go in. Both teams have been man to man the entire ball game. Here's Pierre out front, fakes left, drives right down the lane, got a layup and put it in. 13-48 to go, Pierre knocks it loose. Picked up by Knutchik. Ahead to Pierre, Pierre driving inside, lays it up and in. Ball on the block to one of his bigs that he's worked on uh, uh, earlier in the game. Well, that was Jerron Pierre who got a basket in two of the Utah. Yeah, it was Tyler Stevenson with the big board, and now it's Jerron Pierre who's getting a little bit of pressure from Agnew. Ball's inside, nice move by by you last night they got to the basket time after time after time and uh, tonight it looks like they're trying they're going to focus on converting those uh, shots <laughs> What a nice addition to this team. Jacob Dermy, Germany has been fantastic on both ends of the court. And Lord, I think that's got to be the way the Golden Eagles stand this thing. They're not known for shooting beyond the arc, but if they can get their mid-range game going, is there a nice Session ball game? Got to get a shot up. Too much time. And that's not one of the three-pointers. I'm going to give you a... Uh, Geography lesson in a right. little bit, or maybe a quiz. There's the bucket. Ooh. Nearly went down. The freshman Pierre Jr. taking it coast to coast, and he'll finish. That's how you get on this roster as Coach Ladner needed to add some age. That selection will be one of the things I am sure Coach Ladner is going to discuss with his team in depth. Ten last night in the first half. So, uh, and there you talked about it, Larry. Turnovers by the Golden Eagles and quickly Middle Tennessee.